our families are home watching us, so welcome to you all that weren't able to be with us here in Yorktown Heights. And now I'll ask the graduates to come in. Our first graduate, his name is Stephen Urardi, and Stephen is from Peterborough, New Hampshire, and he was... And Stephen was paired with Farah. Next, we have Jackie Olson of Tempe, Arizona. And Jackie Gracie. Next, we have Ben Benson of New York, New York. And Ben was paired with Nordic. Laura Reyes Martin of the Canary, Canary Islands in Spain was paired with Jameson. Angel Hernandez Pera of Madrid, Spain. was paired with Nutmeg. And Angel is accompanied by his interpreter, Sindhu. And Donna Shapiro. Donna is from Brooklyn, New York, and she was paired with Nell. So of the, of the six students that we have with us today that are um, in our graduating class that's present, we have four from our 21-day residential program, uh, Donna, Ben, Jackie, and Steve, and two who are in our international program, and they're, they're here out of a partnership with a school in Spain, Once, and that's Angel and Laura. And as I already mentioned, um, Sindhu is from is the interpreter that spent the entire three weeks here with Laura and Angel assisting in their education. Before I I'd, I'd also like to take this opportunity to um, rec recognize the staff that without their tireless dedication um, this wouldn't be possible. The class instructors, Onse instructor Jesse DiNapoli and class instructors Kate Peterson and Kat Poalo. Could you guys please stand up? And our instructor assistant, Saxon Eastman, who is also responsible for our In addition to helping us with all keeping things running smoothly and keeping the vehicles up and running, she um, took a lot of the pictures that you saw on the slideshow today. So. Give Saxon a round of applause for the, the job well done on the slideshow. So we have a number of a number of graduates that I'd like to um, recognize that that are not in the ceremony today, um, mostly due to the fact of the the type of program that they graduated from. That, um, some of them never came to campus and had home training, and others went home early. Uh, the first program I like to to talk about is our action program, which is a ten day residential program followed by a home training portion designed for experienced handlers who have um, other things going on um, that require that, that, that don't allow them to be away from home for the, for the three weeks that the residential program takes. Um, graduates from that program were, were, this month, were Lisa Tuccio of Wilmington, Delaware, paired with Radar, and Sandra Godfrey of Palm Bay, paired with Dahlia. And, And the I'd like to acknowledge the instructor who worked with them, class supervisor Melinda Angstrom, worked with them while they were here. So, Next, the home trainings. We have six home trainings that we're celebrating today. today. Some of them are from our home training department, and others are from our special needs department. It serves people who have other 
uh, challenges to work to work with um, other than blindness as they're training with a guide dog. Um, so I'd like to um, congratulate the following. We have Brighton of Brighton, Massachusetts, who was paired with Merrick. <laughs> Blessing Offer of Brooklyn, New York, who was paired with Jordan. Rebecca Albaran of Santa Cruz, California, who was paired with Brocade. <laughs> Jessica Egbert of Apple Valley, Minnesota, paired with Matthew. <laughs> Karen Murphy of Ajax, Ontario, Canada, paired with Hilda. <laughs> and Stacy Robinson of Eagleville, Tennessee, paired with Kirk. The instructors who participated in these home trainings deserve a, a, some recognition for being home for 10 days, uh, away from home for at least 10 days that it takes for the home training to, to take place. We have Chrissy Vetrano, Stephanie Corrette, Susan Croha, and Julie Angle. And the final program that I'd like to acknowledge today is our Healing Autism program. We have six teams that we are proud to have graduated from our Healing, Pro Healing Autism program in the last month. They are Greg and Gina DeFolco of Ardsley, New York, paired with Roomba. <laughs> Freddie and Micah Lieberstein of Oceanside, New York, paired with Belinda. Kim and Chris Mogul of Brick, New Jersey, paired with Ralphie. <laughs> Michael and Laura Power of Smithtown, New York, paired with Kilroy. <laughs> Catherine and Samuel Satterfield of Bridgeport, Connecticut, paired with Jessica. And Michael and Len Weiner of Marlboro, New Jersey, paired with Raphael. Or Raphael. <laughs> and I'd like to acknowledge the staff of the Healing Autism Program, Director Caroline Sandler and Instructor Maureen, Maureen Mellett, as well as the IA Anne Marie. <laughs> and at this time, it's my pleasure to welcome our President and CEO, Tom Panic for some words of welcome. Come on up, Tom. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to everybody online as well. Thank you for joining this graduation. This is a really important day, and it's a culmination of a lot of hard work a lot of volunteers coming together with staff, good dogs, good people, toward objective and goal. And that is to get to this graduation day where you're presented with your Guiding Eyes dog. I want to first take a moment to acknowledge Ben. Ben is your class instructor, but Ben is also uh, a person that's very near and dear to me personally. Ben introduced me to my Guiding Eyes dog named Gus. The first day Ben came into my home with Gus, Gus was quite excited and found a Lego on the ground. Now I have three boys in the audience, uh, TJ, Troy, can you stand up there with Timmy? And uh, they don't pick up their Legos very often, so <laughs> it was actually extremely helpful and I said, this is the dog for me. And I know that's the kind of matching the matching for you all here today to have your dogs. Just getting the right match with the right person is something that we pride ourselves in. And while I'm joking a little bit about the Legos, we do very careful, very carefully look at which dogs are the right pace, the right temperament, and the right lifestyle for you graduates. And we owe that in large part to Ben and the trainers who uh, put a lot of work into training the dogs before they get to this point. 
Now, graduates, if I can speak to you directly for a moment, it feels a little bit like Mount Rushmore up there, doesn't it? Yesterday during lunch, we were uh, contemplating who was on Mount Rushmore, and Donna, I think, although not all who was up there, Donna bet that Jackie knew, and in fact, Jackie did know, didn't you, Jackie? You knew all of them, right? And then all of a sudden during the lunch, Ben stepped out, and I thought, oh, what did I do now? And he said, I'm going to get a bottle, and I thought it was gin or maybe scotch or something at this point in the graduation. But then Ben came back with a bottle of his very own barbecue sauce here. Did you guys know? You guys know that Ben Benson uh, owns the steakhouses in New York City? The reason I am saying this is this bottle has been described to me to have a dog on it. And the dog says, hey, Mom and Dad, this is the good stuff. The only problem is this is not a Guiding Eyes dog, Ben. So we're going to have to update the barbecue sauce here shortly so that we can support Guiding Eyes dogs. Right, Ben? Is that a commitment? In all seriousness, I'd like to thank all of the people to make this day possible, Ben included. The volunteers in the audience from the home socializers through the raisers who love these dogs and provide them with a loving home until they're ready to go in for training, as well as all the people that volunteer in the kennel and at the school all come together to make this day possible. And we also have other individuals who volunteer in many different ways uh, and those who, of course, give money and donate to the school. As you may know, it costs nearly $50,000 per dog to graduate a dog here at Guiding Eyes. And it takes a lot of hearts and minds coming together, a very strong development team to make that happen. I'd like to stop and acknowledge a few donors that have given to make this graduation possible. First, if you could give a warm round of applause for Linda Conley. <laughs> Marty Selden, as well as Carol. <laughs> Carol Parrish. So Marty and Carol, thank you very much for your support. Sally Stockhammer, our longtime graduate. Thank you, Sally. And thank you to Harold Skolnick for special name dog Hilda. I also have to acknowledge that in terms of donations and raising support, I'm currently personally going to be running the new I'm raising $1,000 a mile. And I'd like to acknowledge my guide runner in the audience here. We did 11 miles this morning. Amy Hanlon. Amy, stand up. Please spread the word. If any of your friends or family are able to give and support a Guiding Eyes, I personally dearly appreciate it. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank my beautiful wife, Melissa. Melissa in the audience, please stand up. I don't think I would have my tie on right now if she wasn't in the house. So. Next, I'd like to introduce a person that's very near and dear to me and special on our staff. It's the individual who does the matching that I talked about earlier oftentimes for our staff, and that is Graham Buck. Graham, please come to the podium. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I always like it when Tom goes up first because we're similar in height, so I don't have to put the mic <laughs> up. Um, Every graduation, there's always a theme or something to discuss with training, whether it's the dogs in training or the class training. And you think, well, how many more things could you possibly discuss at a graduation? But there really are tons of areas that we could go into. And one area today that I wanted to talk a little bit about is just how the dogs are created, in a sense, to become guide dogs. Although we breed for a certain type of temperament um, and we're gearing the dogs in that direction, we can't tell the dog, hey, you're going to be a guide dog and actually guiding in a harness when you're an adult dog. So that involves a lot of creativity. You think, well, isn't training very systematic and very analytical and you know, technical? And it is to an extent. But you have to remember that the dogs make it their own. We may train them all in a very similar fashion, 
but they'll say, hey, guess what? This is how I learned it. And then we have to actually adapt our training to them to help them understand what we want from them. So it makes it unique in that way, and it is, in fact, something very, very creative. Same thing with the handlers that are sitting here today with their dogs, whether they had a dog before or this is the first time, they're also being creative. They're adapting to the dogs. The dogs are adapting to them. And the beauty of it is that they're making it their own. So now it's become a whole new entity. It's now their, their own thing that they've created and had a part in by working really, really hard during these weeks. If you think about it, who in their right mind is going to pick up a handle from a dog they don't know and say, hey, I'm going to be OK with you being responsible for me not getting hurt? That takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage. doesn't matter who you are or how many dogs you've had before. So I really, really commend the folks that are here today that have made that decision to have, have a dog in their life. The other part of the equation is that, again, we focus a lot on discussing the training and how it goes and the class training, but it takes special people with passion and love to do this type of work. Whether you're a puppy raiser, whether you're an instructor, um, you really, really have to have that passion and love because there's no other way that you can do it. Um, you're dealing with living creatures, you're dealing with people, and things change daily with them. And you really have to put your heart and soul into it and that's the only way it works. And you'll see that in all the trainers when they talk about their teams or they talk about their dogs. Um, of course, every trainer has, you know, the best trained dog. Mine was the best trained dog and the best trained, you know, team. And we have that sort of competitiveness, but it's very healthy because we're always striving to improve our standards and make the dogs better and help the teams become the best teams that they can be. So, you know, when you look at the dogs and you look at the teams, remember that it is a creative process and try to remember that a whole ton of love goes. So, welcome again and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thanks, Graham. And now we have an exciting part of the ceremony. We have a couple of our graduates who want to uh, say a few words on behalf of class. And um, we're going to start with Ms. Donna Shapiro. So Donna, why don't you come on up? Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for joining us today to help us celebrate a new beginning in all of our lives. I know for me, it will be forever changing. I was born and raised in Coney Island, New York. Having Nell by my side will keep me safe walking the boardwalk for miles each day. Yes, she's a stellar guide dog, she is so much more to me. Nell gives me pride, self-confidence, and dignity. We will take the train to yoga class and practice our downward facing dogs together. <laughs> With Nell at my side, I will enjoy daily tasks like going to the farmer's market or walking on the avenue, enjoying an afternoon at one of my favorite museums or do lunch with a girlfriend, which with no side to help me all the way. After my first walk by myself, I realized that I haven't been able to see that well since early childhood. It felt so natural, easy, and relaxing. I will continue each day working to build a strong, confident, 
thank you to everyone that supported me in my journey. Thank you to my trainers, the nursing staff, the kitchen staff, and everyone else that helped all of us come through our journey. I wouldn't have been able to do it in such a short amount of time without everybody's help. Thank you to everyone. But there's one last thank you to Nell's Puppy Razors. You did a wonderful job, and I adore Nell so much. She's a great guide, but a fun, fun puppy as well. You have literally my life. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Hope you enjoy a lot of wonderful strolls down the boardwalk with her. Next, we have um, one of our ONSE graduates, Angel, would like to come up and say a few words. And following um, his speech, he's g we have the opportunity to have Angel play a song for us. Just as... As soon as Nutmeg cooperates, we'll... There you go, Nutmeg. Yeah, she's got a really, really... down. Hoy es un día muy importante para mí. Por fin la tengo aquí a mi lado. Juguetona y siempre dispuesta a dar lo mejor de sí misma. Se llama Nutmeg. Sí. Today is a very important day for me. At last I have her beside me, intelligent, faithful and always ready to give the best of herself. Her name is Nutmeg. Dos años, mi corazón quedó roto cuando mi compañero de viaje de entonces se tuvo que marchar. Se llamaba Imán. Desde aquí quiero dedicarle mis mejores sentimientos porque sé seguro que tendrá el mejor sitio allá donde esté. Sin él, mi vida, mi vida diaria, se volvió insegura. Subir, bajar, llegar y regresar, cruzar calles y plazas, se convirtió en una aventura que no sabía nunca cómo iba a acabar. A few years ago, my heart was broken when my travel partner had to leave. His name was Iman. From here, today I want to dedicate him my best thoughts because for sure he will be at the best place, wherever he is. Him, my daily life became more insecure, up, down, get there in, and back crossing streets and squares became an adventure, not knowing how it will end. Pero hoy llega otra vez la luz a mi vida y resurgen sentimientos de emoción, cariño, nostalgia y alegría y la seguridad que te da el... <coughs> La seguridad que tendré a mi lado, de que tendré a mi lado una perrita guía que sé que me lo va a dar todo, que lo va a dar todo por mí. 
otra vez podré caminar de un lado para otro con seguridad, porque sé que ella siempre me guiará por los mejores caminos. But today lights come back again in my life and feelings the surface with emotion, affection, nostalgia and joy. And the security of knowing that I will have with me a dog guide that I know she will always give everything for me. Again, I could walk from one side to another with easy because she always lead me to the best path. Y cuando nos veáis por la calle juntos como agarrados de la mano, cogidos a su arnés, pensad que el trabajo y dedicación que estos perros reciben le dan a una persona como yo la libertad, independencia y seguridad que necesito para vivir. Por ello, le doy las gracias a todas las personas que han hecho esto posible. And when you shall see us on streets together, if we be holding hands, holding harness, think what the work and dedication that these dogs receive gives a person like me freedom, independence, and security that I need to live. Therefore, I thank all the people who have made this possible. Thank you very much. Okay, so in honor of this ceremony, Angel wants to sing a song that he composed. The title of the song is, Hoy no es un día cualquiera. It's not a regular day. Hoy no es un día cualquiera, hoy ya todo ha terminado, yo he perdido la esperanza, tú tu amor has encontrado, aunque te parezca extraño, yo por ti he estado sufriendo, porque a pesar de los años, yo a ti te sigo queriendo. En este día que pienso en tu amor, en este día me pongo a llorar, porque aunque el tiempo transcurre veloz, yo todavía no te pude olvidar. En este día que pienso en tu amor, en este día me pongo a llorar, porque aunque el tiempo transcurre veloz, yo todavía no te pude olvidar. Hoy no es un día cualquiera, hoy ya todo ha terminado, yo he perdido la esperanza, Tú, tu amor has encontrado y aunque te parezca extraño yo por ti he estado sufriendo porque a pesar de los años yo a ti te sigo queriendo este día que pienso en tu amor en este día me pongo a llorar, porque aunque el tiempo transcurre veloz, yo todavía no pude olvidar. En este día que pienso en tu amor, en este día me pongo a llorar, porque aunque el tiempo transcurre veloz, 
yo todavía no te pude olvidar. Beautiful, thank you, Angel. You had them dancing in the aisleways. <laughs> Here at Guiding Eyes are graduates and staff members and volunteers who get the opportunity to have their hands on the dogs. Um, have the opportunity to, to, to work with arguably some of the most incredible socialized and trained dogs in the world. And as an organization, Guiding Eyes would not be able to provide these to our clients without the tireless and selfless efforts of our puppy raisers and puppy program staff. At this point, I'd like to welcome a member of our staff who plays a pivotal role in creating these amazing animals, Maria Lazaro, our breeding kennel manager, uh, to make a presentation to the raisers of these wonderful dogs. Welcome everyone. As I look at all these beautiful dogs lying up here, I can honestly say I knew them when they were just a gleam in their daddy's eye. And now to see them all grown up doing what they were meant to do fills us with so much pride and love for them. So on behalf of the K-9 Development Center, I'd like to extend a sincere and heartfelt congratulations to the gradu graduating class of October 2014 and their beautiful guiding eyes. It is truly an honor and pleasure to be able to share this wonderful day with you all. The journey of a Guiding Eyes dog is a long one, and it doesn't happen without our dedicated staff, generous donors, and a team of over 1,400 volunteers. 1,400, and they say it takes a village to raise a child. From our brood stud fosters, our home socializers, our home litter care families, our puppy sitters, region coordinators, and administrative volunteers, both in Yorktown and Patterson, tour leaders, and ambassadors. And finally, I want to say a special thank you to our puppy raisers, who give the ultimate gift of tiny nice puppies. It doesn't happen without them. And I always say it's the hardest job here, but it's also rewarding. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And now this is the fun part. I'd like to ask every person who volunteers for Guiding Eyes to stand up. And if you're in the audience, it goes for you too. And please join us in giving them a round walk, walk, blah, a round of applause for all that they do for us. Please stand, everybody that volunteers. <laughs> thank you all. And at this time, I'd like to say a special thank you to Bob Vincent. Our puppies call him Grandpa Bob for his endless hours of prepping newspapers for her puppy kennel. Thank you, Grandpa Bob. Lots of wags and wet kisses. I'd also like to thank my family for putting up with me. They put up with a lot. Um, every time there's a hurricane or a snowstorm, I pack my bags and I go, I'll see you when I see you. And they go to me. The first thing they say to me is, well, what are you going to eat? Is there any food? And I'm like, oh my god, do I look like I'm starving? But, you know, I come from a big Italian family, so for us, like the labs, it's all about the food. But anyhow, thank you guys. I love you. <laughs> and now, <laughs> I'd like to present the puppy raisers with their certificates and photos. Ben has one to show. Please have a member of your family come up to accept your certificates when I call your name. First of all, Deb Dick from the Maine Region Puppy Raising Region. Raiser of Guiding Eyes, Farah. Deb is not with us today. Um, Barbara Ward Blank and Family from Orange County. Raiser of Guiding Eyes, Gracie. <laughs> S 
Stephanie Duggan, Southern Tier, New York, Raiser of Guiding Eyes, Jameson, could not be with us today. Oh, you're here. Oh, they didn't, I don't have her. Um, well, get your certificate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come up and say um, Honey Weiss and David Lewis, Raisers of Guiding Eyes Now. Marty Zeldin and Carol Parrish, raisers of dual career stud as Nordic. <laughs> the Bartz family from Erie, New York, raisers of guiding eyes nutmeg. <laughs> Under action training, and these people cannot, cannot be with us today, are the Beach family from Catoctin, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Dahlia. <laughs> the Camano family from Central New York and Nicole Geit from Westchester, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Radar. <laughs> Under home training, the May family from Central New York, Razors of Guiding Eyes Brocade. <laughs> Linda Lurch and family from Monroe, Razors of Guiding Eyes Hilda. <laughs> Casey Duncan, Southern Tier, Razors of Guiding Eyes Jordan. <laughs> Glenn Lukowski and Christine Syke from Cataraugus, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Kirk. <laughs> Pamela Stevenson from Cleveland East, Madeline Deason from Shenandoah, Virginia, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Matthew. <laughs> and here with us today is Mrs. Michael Trapani from Duchess, New York, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Merrick. Remember, from small beginnings come great things, and now I'd like to introduce to you future guiding eyes, the lovely Miss Winifred and Whimsy, and the handsome Mr. Bancroft. Are they here? <laughs> They're all going to their razors today. I think Carol and Marty are taking them, so thank you. So the puppies will be available, available for photographs at the, in the groom room after the ceremonies. And please, if you have friends or family that would like to join our Guiding Eyes family, we'd always love to have new volunteers come and join us. So in closing, I'd like to read a quote that's become one of my all-time favorites for graduation. It goes, he is your friend, your partner, your defender, your dog. You are his life, his love, his leader. He will be yours faithful and true to the last beat of his heart. You owe it to him to be worthy of such devotion. God bless you all and keep you safe. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. It's always, it's always to follow that act. So at this time, I'd like to ask class instructors Kat and Kate to, and Jesse to help me in presenting the, um, those representatives from this class that are here to, in presenting them their graduation certificates. And first, first we're going to um, present the graduation certificate to Stephen Urardi and Farah. Jackie Olson and Gracie. Ben Benson and Nordic. Laura Reyes Martin and Jameson.
Angel, Hernandez, Para, and Nutmeg. And Donna Shapiro with Nell. Uh, to all of our graduates today, it was, it was congratulations. It was a pleasure to work with each and every one of um, And you just watching you progress through training and p putting all that hard work into working with your new guides was, was inspiring for myself and the instructor staff and anyone who had the opportunity to, to witness part of it. I wish you the best of luck in your future travels with your new partners. And we'd love to hear about your adventures, so please keep in touch. And remember that the training you received here these past few weeks is just the beginning of the continued support and um, belonging to the family of Guiding Eyes. So um, welcome for those of you that are new to Guiding Eyes and for those of you who are returning to us, welcome back. It's good to have you back. And um, we wish you the best of luck. At this time, I'd like to take the, to invite um, someone out who wears a lot of important hats here at Guiding Eyes for the Blind. Becky Barnes, the manager of, uh, yeah, that's, that's Becky's fan club. So Becky Barnes, she's the manager of uh, consumer outreach and graduate support. And Becky is often shifting gears from helping graduates with access issues to counseling graduates through tough decisions such as deciding when to retire their dog. And she always brings poise and and a lot of passion when assisting them. So I want to welcome Becky to the uh, podium for some last. Maria, that quote always makes me cry. <laughs> you know, I've been graduations of Guiding Eyes now for over 15 years, and it never, ever gets old. This is an amazing day. It's a very special day. My, like most graduations, though, it's not an end in and of itself. It's the culmination of a lot of heart and soul and energy and commitment. But it's the beginning of a journey, journeys that are as varied as the people who are traveling them. And so I get to come up here on behalf of my somewhat 999 or something fellow graduates of Guiding Eyes for the Blind to wish you joy in your journey. Um, that the process of training with your dog is not always easy. It's not even always fun, but it is always rewarding. And as you leave here and continue to build your bond with your, your canine partner, um, we continue to wish you all the best and know that you are here, that we are here with you as part of the family. And so I know that all of my fellow grads, including Tom and Ron and Jackie, here today um, are happy to welcome Don and Ben and Laura and Angel and who am I missing? To, oh yeah, okay, to the Guiding Eyes family. First time Guiding Eyes graduate. So now they're part of the Guiding Eyes family. So that brings us up to like what, a thousand and five? My strong suit. But we welcome you and I think all of you over here need to give yourselves a big hand along with your instructors. Um, they deserve a big hand as well. So let's just have one more celebratory round of applause. <laughs> and thanks on hell for fixing that guitar up. It needed it. <laughs> um, just a, a, as closing. I just want to uh, remind you all that the Guiding Eyes gift shop is open out here in the hallway. There's lots of cool stuff in there. The dogs are available for potographs down the hall. As you go out of here, down to the left and across the lobby, you'll hear the noise. You'll find them. Um, there are refreshments upstairs. Razors and graduates, you'll have the opportunity to have some pictures taken together. And in a little while, probably 45, half an hour to 45 minutes, Saxon, right? You'll be calling them together for a tour of the kennels. Is that right? So um, if you want to go over to the kennels and see what all those other dogs are doing over there, getting ready for class, that'd be a great time to do that. So please enjoy your afternoon. Thank you, all of you, for coming. 
not only did you attend graduation with us and celebrate with us, but you have many, or if not all of you, have had a big part in making this happen. And so we appreciate you all. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. This concludes the graduation ceremony. For those of you who are um, puppy raisers in the audience that are going to come and approach, we ask that you give your um, graduates an opportunity to remove their harnesses from their dogs before you approach them. You guys can graduate. You can go ahead and do that now.